What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Mark, the chosen one. I'm over here at 405 taking delivery of the Supra today. I kind of wish it was more sunny so I could see the car in the sunlight for the first time. It complete. Um, I talked to the SOS guys. They said it's 90 90 percent complete there's a couple things not on there that i have to do here and then send it back and whatever but for the most part it's 95 percent complete you guys are going to see it here with me for the first time i did not go to san diego to check it out complete i just had it shipped straight here to four or five so i'm waiting delivery as soon as it comes in the meantime I'll show you guys what's going on at the shop got a little photo shoot going on over here this guy doesn't know shit about cameras i know everything Got the famous Paul Walker himself over here. Oh boy. <laughs> what a fucking creeper. Look at this guy. Just, I mean, I'll creep too, but. Look, man, here's the thing. You gotta have the balls to just film. What do you want to do with that information, bro? Man, I. It's what you guys are gonna do with this information. This is the homie Dylan's car over here. It's pretty sick. He bought my RB, my first RB off me. What's your name for everyone so everybody knows? My name is Bella, Perks of Isabel. What about the IG? Perks of Isabel. What? Perks, Perks of Isabel. Perks of Isabel. Perks of Isabel. They're gonna find you, so Please I just wanna make you. sure. Find they always ask me, you have girls on the vlog. Why don't you put their handles so no, we can find them and yeah, stuff, no. so. Um, and you're from Australia? <laughs> you're going to Australia. I'm going to Australia. I live on Oahu. Cool. Yeah. I was. Oh no! You want to give me some lessons? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What's Definitely. Good MTV. Hey. Welcome to my crib. Is this your car or what? What do you got done to it? You got a lot. It looks like it. Yeah. And you did all the. If I'm not wrong, you did all the work yourself, right? Like you built it by yourself. By my hand, by my own stuff. Okay. I can see that. In the color. This is like from the Hawaiian rainforest, at, yeah, like inspired, exactly, right? Exactly. I figured. Inspired by um, the beautiful, or in memory of the beautiful behind the house. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we got some of over there. <laughs> Damn. Guys, there is some rain and dirt and stuff that got on the car. Obviously, it's not PPF'd yet, so this is what I'm gonna do. You guys don't have to wait. I'm literally gonna wash it real quick, get all this stuff off, the water spots off, put it in the light room, and then we're gonna go over this car. All right, see you in a sec. All right, guys, I'm sweating. My mustache is gleaming, and the car is washed. It's in the light bay, the Batman cave. <laughs> Let's take a look.
Here she is in all her beautiful fucking glory. All these months, all these years have led up to this. I'm really fucking amazed at how it looks. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Let's go over this car real quick together. As I told you in the beginning of this video, 90% complete, 95% complete. I'm gonna show you what the other 10% is. Not a big deal. First of all, I wanna do a massive shout outs to SOS Customs. Um, Oscar and his six and a half inch penis did an amazing job. Uh, and I'm, I'm giving you that extra half inch, bro, because to be honest with you, I, I think you deserve it. And you and your shop killed it. Uh, I couldn't be any more happier with the paint and the quality of work. Definitely gonna come back to you guys on all my cars. Just wanted to say thank you. Mad, massive shout outs to SOS, guys. Now, let's go over this shit. Put the stock tails on. I don't like the, um, the MK4 style taillights without a lens. I'm gonna put a lens on it and we're gonna kind of see what the car looks like with the lens on it. The exhaust is back on, diffuser's back on, wings back on. Uh, it just looks amazing. By the way, guys, look at this shot. Hold on, let me turn the wheel. <clears throat> okay, look at this. Look at this shot, guys. You guys. You guys tell me that I went wrong with the wheel color choice. I have never been more convinced that this color choice for the wheels is the right option for the car. Especially since the engine bay is gonna be all brushed, uh, uh, brushed aluminum and polished stuff. It's gonna match with everything. The wheels is perfect. It gives the car the perfect amount of retro pop and it just looks fucking amazing, guys. I wish you guys could he be here to see this shit in person. Gold, center, ball black, bronze, gunmetal. In my opinion, now after looking at this, nothing else but this would look better for this car, in my opinion. Fight me, okay? Now, I'm gonna go over the car, a couple things. You notice, I didn't paint these the body color yet, but I have another set, they're painting it. I can just pop it out and put it back in. So that's gonna be body color. I may leave it, but I think it's gonna be body color. Um, as far as that, the rear's all good. Wheel's all good. This, I know it's something small, but I'm waiting for brand new ones. These are my old, these are my old ones. So I'm waiting for brand new ones. As far as the exterior goes, <coughs> we painted these body color. They were amber before. Everything's been polished. Brand new emblems. Damn. Um, yeah, to be honest, that's it. We need the new side skirt clip to go back on. So we gotta put this side skirt down, the new side skirt. So that we're gonna have to fix, but it's honestly minor stuff. I think more of the fixes is, is probably in the interior, and it's really not that much. Um, let me go on this side. Oh yeah, we forgot to get this. So this on both sides needs to happen. Some, we're gonna, we forgot, <laughs> we, were, we were rolling this car out in a rush today, Oscar was, so. This is all in Alcantara wrapped, but we put the wrong one. See, it, it still doesn't open. So have to, we have the right one with the flap that opens. We just forgot to put that one in. So that's gonna go in. Uh, the other side piece over there that's missing. Um, yeah, that's basically it. We, he just put my old Takata harness there. I have new harness. We'll put them on later. So don't, don't really sweat too much about that. Um, obviously a couple things are missing. The cowl uh, and the front pieces right here. So the cowl and the fender liner pieces are missing. We didn't put those on yet because I brought them here. We're gonna put them on and th it needs to get trimmed right around this area. So once it gets trimmed, I'm gonna send it back and we're gonna paint that uh, trim black 
so the whole car is gonna look more complete. But for now, it's gonna stay like this. The paint's still drying, so we're just gonna put this thing in the showroom, let it dry a little bit. But, guys, this shit is hard. This is hard. Tell me this ain't the sickest Supra you've ever seen. Tell me. This thing is hard. Damn. I could look at this shit all day. All right, so what's next? Those of you that are wondering what's next for this car. Um, well, it's gonna get, the paint's gonna cure a little bit more. And once the paint's fully cure, we're gonna PPF the whole car. Light polish it, clear bra the whole car, and it's going straight to enticed to put the engine back in, to put the transmission back in, to tune it, and make it all ready and ready to go to hit the streets. The good news is, no more fabrication stuff needs to be done. We already did all that. We just gotta plug everything back in and hit the road. So if you guys like this car, if you like the vision, if you like everything, please hit that subscribe button for your boy. I would really, really appreciate that. And uh, like and comment in the video. Tell me what you guys think, truly what you guys think. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.